It's one thing to watch this withdrawal unfold on television. It's quite another to live through it and know firsthand how this withdrawal impacted thousands of translators who answered our plea for help. Joining us now is an Afghanistan interpreter and author of Promises Betrayed, Jamil Hassan. Thank you for being here. Thank you for what you did to help our country. Uh, tell us what, if anything, you were promised. What did you think would happen for helping our country, and were those promises kept? Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, uh, most of those promises were, uh, were broken. Uh, by uh, President Biden's decision to uh, withdraw all forces uh, from Afghanistan. I did not think myself being here, being interviewed on Fox News, I was hopeful for my future in my own country, serving my own people. But unfortunately, uh, because of the uh, decision made by President Biden, here I am with, with hundreds of thousands of my fellow citizens leaving their country, starting life from scratch here and across the world, and uh, tens of thousands of them still at refugee camps in Pakistan, in the UAE, in Qatar, and even in Ukraine. Their, their lives are destroyed, their hopes are destroyed, our country is, is, is destroyed, and, and everything that we have achieved in the past 20 years because of the presence of the international community, uh, they're all gone. Speaking of what happened, I want you to listen to another interpreter and what happened to him and his family and then get you to react on the other side. I was praying all the way there, you know, like God just make me make me strong, you know, to go through all these things. When I heard like the Taliban took over Afghanistan, like I was emotionally like inside I was crying. What I can do to get my family out of Afghanistan. What, tell us about your journey to get here, and also, have you been giving, given an, an explanation for why 20 years of American investment and you risking yourself, and we turn the country back over to the Taliban? There is no explanation to this. This is just a, a, a crystal clear mistake. Uh, this decision shouldn't have been um, made in the first place. Uh, referring to my uh, former colleague, uh, uh, I have uh, a very uh, a more terrible feeling than him. Uh, when I was on a C-17 as it uh, lifted off Kabul airport, I had this deep sorrow uh, in, in my heart. Uh, everyone was asleep uh, and started to fall asleep, but I couldn't sleep because uh, I thought I was losing something big, something that I can I'm not I cannot uh, uh, gain back, and and still I am thinking that uh, either those 20 years of of uh, the the life that I spent uh, in democracy, uh, in 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 happiness and in peace was a dream, or either this is a dream, and I I will wake up one day and it, it, things will be normal as they were uh, last year and in the past 20 years. So that is the feeling I can and I can I can express. Well, I know you love your country, and, and I feel certain that, that either friends or family are still there, and I am sure that it breaks your heart, uh, as it should all of ours, quite frankly, to see what is happening to Afghanistan despite the service and sacrifice of Americans and Afghans. So I'll give you the last word. When you look at Afghanistan now, what is your reaction? It's just, it, ha it has backwarded 100 years. Uh, it's not even the Afghanistan of the uh, m uh, before 9/11. It's worse than that because the Taliban, uh, despite they know all the realities, all the, all the facts uh, uh, about Afghanistan, what the people achieved, they just turn a blind eye uh, uh, onto all of them. And uh, worse than that is that the entire wo uh, world has forgotten Afghanistan. Uh, not only because of the war in Ukraine, but because they they do not want to hear about it. For instance. Uh, President Biden uh, multiple times uh, made it clear that he doesn't want to hear anything about Afghanistan, because, uh, and, and he should hear about it, because this is the, the, the cat catastrophe, the disaster that he uh, brought up on uh, not only uh, uh, my country and my people, but, but also because on, on, on uh, Ukrainians, because uh, right after uh, the America and its allies left Afghanistan, it gave an incentive to, uh, to uh, Russia to attack Ukraine. And 
uh, or God knows what will come next. Uh, we are, we are, I'm following the news about Taiwan, China threatening Taiwan security, and uh, the, 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 the result, the outcome of, of this withdrawal, this chaotic withdrawal is for, for Americans, and for America is that the world does not trust America as, as an ally anymore. Look at Japan, at South Korea, Middle East countries. Do they think that uh, the United States will, will stay with them, will, uh, will stand, uh, stand alongside them? I, I'm sure they don't think so, and they are looking for other allies. We are uh, very appreciative for what you did for our country, and my hope is that you can return to Afghanistan when it is safe. Um, thank you for helping our country, and thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. Thanks a lot.